So today we're going to be going through setting up an inline nebulizer through the servo eye. What you want to do first is check your order, check your chart for history, identify your patient. Hello Mr. Smith, how are you doing today? And then you want to assess for the need for the treatment as well as vital signs. This would include breath sounds, heart rate, SpO2, and respiratory rate. Yeah, have some wheezes and the monitor shows us uh, your heart rate, your saturation, and your respiratory rate. I can get off the ventilator here. And at this point you'd want to make sure that you suction the airway if it was indicated. I don't hear any secretions down there so I'm not going to do any s suctioning at this point. At this point, you want to make sure you gather your equipment. The equipment would include a valve T, a Paul filter to prevent the medication from getting in the exhalation side of the ventilator, your nebulizer, and when you're giving a nebulizer through the vent, make sure you grab the little white star adapter that will have to sit on top. Additionally, you want to grab your medication and saline if you need it. So the first thing you want to do is put in the T-valve adapter which will help you to put the nebulizer in line and you want to make sure this goes on the inspiratory side of the circuit. Next you want to take out the HME. Leaving that in line will prevent the patient from getting medication. Next, you want to put the expiratory filter on the expiratory side of the ventilator. This is to prevent the medication from getting back into the ventilator. Next, you want to aseptically put the medication into your nebulizer. So next you want to put the nebulizer in line and you will turn the flow to 68 liters. Remember, make sure for this particular type of neb you have that little white adapter in there. With the nebulizer running, you want to make sure that that will increase your expiratory tide volume and alter your minute ventilation, as you can see on the screen. So while your treatment's running, you want to make sure you observe for adequate aerosol generation and you want to monitor your patient throughout the entire treatment. After the dose is administered, turn off the flow to the nebulizer and remove from the circuit. Then you want to make sure you put the HME back in line. And finally, take out your filter from the expiratory side of the vent circuit. So after completion of the treatment, make sure you reassess heart rate, respiratory rate, SpO2, and breath sounds. You want to monitor for any adverse reactions, and also as assess responsiveness by checking changes in PIP and plateau. Yeah. Breath sounds have improved. Thank you, Mr. Smith and your, your pressures have gone down. Very good. Have a good day. An alternate alternative for removing the HME would be to place an HME that has a flow diverter included. So now you are replacing the nebulizer in line, diverting the flow, then you want to place the filter on the expiratory side of the ventilator to prevent the medication from getting into the ventilator and turning the nebulizer on to 6 to 8 liters per minute. After the nebulizer is finished, you want to turn off your flow, remove your nebulizer, redirect the flow again, then remember to take out your expiratory filter.